that a new comet named Leonard is racing towards the inner solar system, and there is a speculation that the comet will be visible to our naked eye soon. And today in this video, we will have a look at its predicted brightness level. But before that, let us see how we measure brightness of a celestial body. To measure brightness of a celestial object, we often use a concept called the apparent magnitude. The apparent magnitude is the brightness of a celestial body while viewed from Earth. This is a reverse scale, that is less the number in scale, more the brightness of the object will be. For example, our Sun has an apparent magnitude of negative 26 and that of full moon is negative 13. Planet Venus has a apparent magnitude of negative 4 at its brightest position and the brightest star of the sky, Sirius has magnitude negative 1.5. Any object in the sky will be visible to our naked eye for any person of normal eyesight if the object has apparent magnitude of 5 or less depending on the light pollution in that location. And when it comes to the comet Leonard, which is currently at almost 0.8 astronomical units from Earth, has magnitude of 8. And gradually when it comes closer to Earth, its brightness will increase, unless its material break apart completely while approaching close to the Sun. From November 24th to December 6th, its magnitude is expected to fall from 8 to 5 in a magnitude scale. So we can easily use a binoculars or long exposure cameras to capture the celestial guest. And at its closest approach to Earth, the comet will shine at a magnitude of 4.5 or less. Predicting comet behavior is really very tough. And luckily, it's not the first time that Leonard is visiting our inner solar system. But this is the last time we will see this comet. And after its closest approach to Sun this year, it will be thrown away from our solar system forever. Comets always surprise us and let us hope for the best and wait till Leonard becomes a naked eye comet. Thanks very much for watching this video.